welcome again to another episode of fish keep in jamaica welcome to my channel i published this video earlier on and i had to take it down i apologize for the viewers um i realized that the audio was missing the audio was done um but you know it's done separate and apart from the video so as a result of that um it seems as if something happened and uh the, just the video alone actually got uploaded anyway so today's video is primarily about um why tilapia fish is practically uh dangerous in the wild okay so where i'm at i am at i'm in clarendon jamaica all right it's on the outskirts of saint the parish of saint catherine it's considered a farming community a rural community right now this river leads into the salt river which leads which exits into the um the, the, the sea uh just uh, uh, along this, the southern coast of jamaica right this river um has several strains of uh tilapia fish living within it now uh this river actually cuts through a property owned by Danny Bunting, one of the largest uh, tilapia fish farmers in Jamaica, uh, over 374 acres of land, over 74 um, separate ponds, and um, I've shared with you uh, in videos before that uh, fish, uh, or should I say baby fish, from the farms have actually found them themselves along the drains exiting into the river and uh have make the have actually made the river their home now why is it that this is such a bad thing no uh the tilapia is known for the consumption of weeds and plants as a result of the consumption of weeds and plants a lot of natural uh you know the natural i call it now the natural ecosystem that exists within the, the water space um serving as habitat for um other wild creatures is actually destroyed so they actually eat the vegetation and um tilapia is practically a, a, a evasive species in jamaica itself where it's, it's it doesn't originate in jamaica but it was actually brought to jamaica as a source of uh, a food protein protein source from as early as in the 1960s early 70s right so you have three different strain of tilapia in jamaica we have the rocky mountain white the red north tilapia and we also have the mozambique tilapia now tilapia is regarded as a vegetarian right however um tilapia will consume anything that moves that can actually hold in its mouth so small fish within this river space uh yeah this river that actually runs underneath the bridge all of this uh, you're seeing right now is a part of the river right uh so tilapia that actually lives within this space will actually consume the smaller fish that's within this space and uh will pose a problem to persons not wishing to consume tilapia but wishing to consume consume other wild fish within the space uh they are also known for their consumption of crustaceans such as crabs small crabs and snails right so as a result of the introduction of tilapia to the wild what you find is that uh the ecosystem the natural ecosystem of 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 the space is actually um eroding by tilapia actually feasting on this um you know feasting on the split uh, 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 within the space right so you have the, the fish that exists within the space actually dying um well actually disappearing because the tilapia actually practically consume them right and you also have the, the crabs and, and the snails and and other creatures that exist within the space actually disappearing as a result of tilapia being introduced. What you also find, you also find the flow of the water kind of getting a little bit more heavy after a while because they have actually um, eroded the natural space um, for um, you know eliminating 
weeds and plants which will actually serve as one aeration for the space and two it actually managing the magic manage, manages the flow of water from um a, a, along the stream so as a result of this you find that um you know flooding might occur within nearby communities where in which the, the, the water flow is high um in which weeds and plants will probably manage the, the water flow this is no longer in existence so countries like australia facing a problem right now as far as tilapia is concerned yes tilapia where they are originated from um it is no um it's practically no problem because you have other fish other than tilapia that actually manages the the growth rate of tilapia so as a result of that um the the, 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 the growth rate of tilapia within the wild within the native space uh you find that that is actually kept in check uh this is the end of the video guys uh thank you again for stopping by i appreciate you watching and sharing your comments have a wonderful day peeps peace out catch you next time bye bye